Hello, my name is Kim Sauer. I'm here at SMT Nuremberg and I'm joined by Stefan Techau from DEC. Stefan, always nice to see you at these shows and thank you very much for joining us. Um, you've got an extremely busy stand um, once again here at SMT Nuremberg with um, some innovations, some new products. Tell us what's new. Kim, thank you for inviting me today. Pleasure. Um, SMT Nuremberg this year is for us the main event in Europe because uh, that's the year where this is kind of the center exhibition where the industry meets, where we have an opportunity to talk to customers, understand what, is, uh, what challenges are that do they have on their plate, mm -hmm. how can we help them, and uh, we have an opportunity to show what we have new, what we have to offer to the industry. Mm -hmm. um, we have launched a new product, uh, which is a unique launch for Europe. It's the Deck Gemini print platform. The Deck Gemini print for platform is a dual lane platform, which is kind of the next generation of dual lane solutions. Dual lane is in the market since probably more than a decade now. Uh, the first series of dual lane offer line offerings within the industry have been limited in board sizes. Mm -hmm. Typically, demand uh, kind of the specification has been demanded by the pick and place business mainly. Um, now customers drive that uh, flexibility forward that they require here in the European market to be successful and to be competitive. That means customers are now saying, well, dual lane is an interesting concept, but we need uh, more throughput typically that drives them and also a wider choice in terms of product board size. Mm -hmm. uh, that so that's a brand new product launch that's taking place here at SMT Nuremberg th now? That's correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the European launch, yeah. and that's something which uh, is a great opportunity for us yeah. here in, in Germany yeah. uh, this week. The Gemini is having unique features, which basically means for customers, uh, you have the full board size flexibility of a deck platform, which is 508 by 620 millimeter mm -hmm. board size. Uh, those machines are in a very compact floor space, and they are independent from each other which means it gives customers more throughput, more uptime. You could, for example, have one machine producing while the second one is uh, being set up for product changeover. Okay. And uh, there's no compromise also in the usability and, and kind of training that's required for the product because it's the software that customers are used to from uh, other deck platforms. Mm -hmm. So a seamless yeah, development uh, for existing customers as well as probably opening up new doors for new customers as well. Yeah, it's always our intention to yeah. develop systems that lead in product development and product uh, features mm -hmm. and that uh, are useful cu for customers helping them on a on being successful on a long term. Yeah. Um, it's also a highlight that if you think of future capability requirements and printing which are miniaturization of products for those there's a there's a natural requirement for more accuracy mm -hmm. that we see yeah and this uh, machine has already that capability today with an outstanding 50 plus minus 15 microns process capability at two uh, cpk mm -hmm. so you're taking a lot of the boxes that customers require nowadays um, away from the machine side there is some new products also that you're launching or that are innovative products and ecologically friendly products? If, what, what? If, if you follow the, um, the main driver of us, making sure that our customers are successful and their total cost of ownership mm. continuously is in focus and gets driven down, yeah. um, we have then focused on how can we help them getting more boards out of their printer um, and get their, their yield up. And one of the processes that you have in printing is the underscreen cleaning process. Mm -hmm. Stencils need to be cleaned every now and then, and typically you have a, a fabric roll that cleans the stencil underside. Um, we have now launched a new product in that category, which is the UFP Eco um, fabric roll. Mm -hmm. That's a material which has a very unique way of how it's produced. It's a thermal pressed material which gives it a three-dimensional um, structure. That structure helps customers to clean stencils more efficiently. Mm -hmm. 
and to use less under screen cleaner fluid or chemistry, uh, which then gets the overall cost of manufacturing down. And ultimately increases the quality, I suppose, by the way it cleans. We have, we have done tests with uh, customers in the automotive arena already, mm -hmm. and they have seen dramatic increase of double percentage digits in uh, productivity and cost saving mm -hmm. it, it, with, with a better year. Yeah. Um, to, to wrap up, let's look at the market as such. Um, obviously, we'll, we'll just talk about the, the European and the German market since we're here at um, Nuremberg. I know you're obviously a global company, but um, what's your thought about the market? Where is it going? Um, what has the feedback been from the customers that have visited your booth? Okay, uh, one of the drivers we see moving forward for the industry, probably from a global perspective, is um, the, the requirement for more operational output. I mean, particularly in, 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 in Europe, um, which is a market that, that has a, a, a widespread which is demand, which is dominated probably today by automotive industry and by EMS companies. Um, those customers here are in a global environment and in a global comp competitive environment. Mm -hmm. So that that drives their requirement for reducing their out, um, reducing their cost, whilst incre increasing their productivity. Mm -hmm. um, what drives that forward in the next years to come is uh, the intelligence of um, machinery and probably software solutions that are going to be introduced more and more within the industry. Uh, examples are today already uh, a vertical integration of a deck product for example with an MES manufacturing execution system. Mm -hmm. We have done uh, extensive developments in that arena and on the show this week we have shown an example with a connection to an iTAC uh, software cloud. Uh, to, to make it kind of tangible for customers so they yeah. can understand what is MES or what is Industry 4.0 as a buzzword within the industry, what does that mean for us? And that is a very big buzzword, Industry 4.0, so um, I'm glad you mentioned it because it, it's something that is buzzing around the show. A lot of people are, are, are talking about it, some people don't understand it, other people you know, are, are, are skeptical about it. What's, your view on it and, and how does how does DEC deal with the concept I suppose it's a concept in the end. I think Industry 4.0 in general is as you say it's a buzzword it's nothing particularly new if you look into automotive production today the way how how um, automotive people build a vehicle or a car a lot of that technology is already used in that industry um, and now it kind of carries on into other industries. In, in the ideal form, it would mean a product that uh, flows through a manufacturing process, knows in what status it is, it's in, and what should happen to the product next, in which kind of process. That's the ideal world. Now this would mean um, that there would be standards, so that's something which um, I would definitely see as a requirement for the industry if you want to roll those technology out globally in a bigger volume and in a wider industry manner. Uh, it needs some standards, otherwise um, I think this will then be always restricted to individual companies and what does that mean to them? Mm -hmm. Today to us it means that a deck product already vertically could be connected to um, ERP systems via e MES connections for example or if you look at the horizontal connection to other processes within a production line um, you would take the award-winning ProDeck closed loop system which is a vertical in, um, intelligent interface mm -hmm. to the SPI after the printer. Mm -hmm. Those are just two examples of uh, kind of this, this wide uh, new technology uh, arena that's gonna Keep us, keep us all busy, keep us busy in the exactly. next couple of years to come. Yes, lots of discussions going on. Um, I think SMT, another great platform to discuss with colleagues and everybody yeah. how to drive this forward. And um, it was a pleasure to talk to you as well. And um, I wish you the best of luck for the rest of the show. Thank you, Kim. Thank you.